In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the battery on Sony MDR XB 950BT or 950B1 models. The process will be the same. So an easy way to know that your battery is the issue is when you plug it in to charge it, if the LED light does not light up, it's the light right under the word power. If it doesn't light up or if it lights up and it's kind of faintly blinking red, that's how you know the battery needs to be replaced. So we're going to work on the right side here, the side that says model, and there's an R on the hanger. Start off by removing these four screws that hold the speaker in place. So most of the time there is a cover covering this battery. I'm not sure why this one doesn't. I'm assuming the battery had been replaced before. So we'll take the screws out. So first off, I'm going to get my soldering iron and desolder the two connections the battery has. Next, we have two screws we need to remove. Then just gently do this. You don't want to break any components, but kind of work, work it out, and you'll be able to access the battery. And if there's a cover here, you'll just have to pop the cover out, and you can access the battery. And you'll just kind of pry it open. Got a little plastic pry tool. And go ahead and get rid of your old battery. And we'll get our replacement battery. I'll have a link to where you can purchase these. This same battery is used in the Sony 650BT, 950BT, and 950B1. So if you get a battery that fits any of those three models, it'll work on this one. Definitely solder in the battery connections before you screw in the cover because it'll be really hard to access after. So we'll have our ground, which is black towards the outside, and our red, which is positive on the inside. And the board will show battery positive and battery negative to help you know. The next, just tack it back in. If you have the cover, or if you'd like to use the cover, it'll just snap right on top. You'll just slide it in here and snap it down. After that, we will kind of have to have an angle here. Make sure the play and pause button slides back through. And you can screw the screws back in. We're going to tuck our cable down into this clip and use the little piece of tape that is that was covering these connections to just tack it back down on. Before you screw the screws back in and close this up, I would just set the speaker on there and go ahead and plug in the charging cable to make sure that the new battery is working. You can see the indicator light is solid red, which means it's charging now. And that's fantastic. We'll let it charge a few minutes and then you can test it. All that's left now is to put the screws back in. If you need any help or if you have any questions, please comment below and I'll get back to you soon. Thank you.